All right, so now we see that anything can become a brush. Um, and what we make a brush, you know, we can, the oddest things makes cool brushes. But let's say we have something that's already considered like a pattern, like these, for example. Can we make these into brushes? And the answer is yes, it's very easy. You just have to kind of abide by some rules. So if you download something from the internet, uh, let's say, for instance, this one. I can switch documents by going like this. And I want to make this into a brush. Well, first thing you need to do is clean up the artwork. So I make a new transparent background. This one, I'm going to move down, go above here, and go select by color. And I'll select the white and hit delete. Now it's transparent. So I'll select none. The next thing we need to do is square up the document and make sure the size is okay. So let's go to scale image. The scale is huge, so let's go 72. That's a good starting out point. And then the document width is way too big, but we still want the, the crisp edges. So I'm gonna actually make this 512 by 512 Sometimes you have to uncheck the chain to do that. Okay, so now what we can do is take it and go edit, copy, edit, paste as new brush. It's called this design five. You notice there was a spacing there that we could have messed with. Well, we wouldn't know the spacing until we actually went into it but I'll show you that it's based upon a percent, so we would actually know it. It's, you'll see. So here's my new brush. And if I paint, it's gonna be just one giant huge glob of black. And nothing in here says anything about spacing. But if you go to Windows and you go to Dockables and you go to Brushes, at, down below, Underneath brushes, there is spacing. Right now, this is a one space. Let's go to 100%. Check this out. So, there we go. So now we got a pattern. We can make patterns all day long. And if you click and then hold shift, Give me a hold shift. Now you can use these for decorative borders or frames or whatever you want to do with them. Now, what if you increase it to what so many? Well, it just makes the spacing so big that you can now have it as like a, almost a scatter brush. Or you, it is still tiling. It's just it's just too big. You don't see it. That's spacing, and that's how to make a pattern brush based on anything that you got on the, on the internet. Anything. Really cool. So, play around with that a little bit, make a couple, and uh, move on to the next video.